गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग मैम थैंक यू वेरी गुड इवनिंग लेट्स बिगिन यस मैम ऑल राइट ऑल राइट या सो लेट्स डू वन थिंग uh i want you to you know just read two sentences from your english literature not textbook uh the chapter which is not taken i mean you know uh how many chapters you have completed now give me the chapters number for the exams how many of the chapters you have finished 1 2 3 4 5 5 chapters and mute and reply please Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Five. Five chapters, right? Okay. So six will be the next one. Open the sixth chapter of your English literature. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, six already. Ma'am, taken. Taken. Then open the seventh one. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Let drink some water. Okay. right so i'm here you open the seventh i mean sixth one right sixth or seventh confirm which book my dear isha come i'll bite your cheeks ma'am no ma'am english two books are there ma'am two books are there english literature has only one book right no ma'am two book which would be the ma'am taking ma'am which would be taken next Week. I mean, after the exams, tell me that because you know I have been begging Anubama to send me the text. Sent his, she's not sending it. That's why I'm asking you. And both the books are there in one book: uh, stories and other book poems. Poems. You take the stories. This is a very good explanation. Thanks. And why is this written like that? Poems and stories, different books. My good God, ma'am, seventh one. Seventh one. Open it and read first two sentences for me. read it somebody please read it quickly seventh one first two sentences you don't have the textbook take it quickly open it read it for me eva read it quickly you and jansi two young actors shared a small flat flat the flat was on the third is it a an... drama ma'am um, no the story this is a story so start from the first sentence read it slowly so that i need to write read it louder all right read it louder ha huh. start you and john c Sorry, read the spelling of the first word. S U E. S U E. And. And. John C. Spelling, please. J O. Okay. H N. Ah. Uh -huh. S Y. S Y. S U and John C. Okay. Two young sisters. comma right there is a comma you should always punctuate okay comma two young sisters 
Okay. Shared a small flat. Hmm. Is there any comma? Yes, ma'am. Comma shared a small. Com what is the name of the story? The last leaf. Last leaf. Yeah. Ah, I have learned it. You know, the story is a very nice one. Uh, you know, I think I think Sue or John C. Somebody is getting sick. She is getting pneumonic. So she was thinking like you know, uh, she is going to die fast. So one small window was opened to outside, and she has seen some creepers uh, moving up to the other <clears throat> building. So she was looking at that and, you know, she was saying that uh, it's like, uh, you know, if that leaf falls, I will die. That was the thought of uh, the sick, sick uh, artist. So this thought was shared to an old artist who is a painter. So he become really concerned about these two young girls. And for their surprise, you know, that leaf never fault. Never. John C is getting sick. Ah, that artist become sick because he was climbing up on the that building to paint that particular leaf in order to make uh, that young girl to feel that okay, that leaf is still there. I think uh, the uh, elderly artist died at the end of the story, but she become you know better. I still remember when I, I, but I studied this during my college, the last leaf. So, shared a small flat, full stop. Then, ma'am, in which world? Hold on, Eva, you please read it. Ma'am, ma'am, in which world? <laughs> Eva, tell him the page number. Page number. 45. 42. Okay. Ma'am, 45. Rohan, can you change the style of saying, ma'am, in which page? Can you ask it in that way? Which page? Ma'am, in, ma in which page? Which page? No, no separations after which and page. Between which and page. Which page? Which page? Ask like that. Which page? Which page? Which page? Please say only these two words. Which page? Which page? Which page? Now, now ask me now. Sorry. Ma'am, in which page? Ma'am, in which page? Ma'am, in which page? Floor. Oven, old house. Third floor of. Ma'am. Oh. Not floor. Sorry, I can't hear. Ma'am, it's F T O R E Y. Say it again. F T O R E Y. I can't understand. Ma'am, it's not floor. It's 
story. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Of an old house. Perfect. That's it. The flat is on the third story of an old house. So now let's begin from here. Okay. I know that somehow you have learned some part of the phonetics, I mean the sounds and all. So now let's learn the intonation. But don't forget that you need to practice on sounds. You need to learn the combinations. Vowels and, sorry, monophthongs and, sorry, consonants and monophthongs, consonants and diphthongs. Just because of the light, you know, I can't open my eyes sometimes. <clears throat> so now look at the intonation. Sue and John C, two young artists, shared a small flat. The flat is on the third story of an old house. I want you to read it in this way. It is not like Sue and John C, two young artists, shared a small flat. The flat is on the third story of an old house. Change this pattern. I want you to read in this way to break this into different parts. Break one sentence into different parts. Read it in a rhythmic way with some rhythm. Okay. Sue and John C. Sue, Pose and John C together. So underline it in this way, Sue and John C. When two line, two words are straight away underlined, which means that there is no break between these words. Two young artists, two young artists shared a small flat. This is continuous. When there is an arrow mark, which means that here it is continuing this underlining. Share a small flat. There is no break between them. Okay, so I'm going to read this in this way. Listen carefully. I will read this five times for you so that I hope it will be registered in your mind. Sue and John C, two young artists, shared a small flat. Sue and John C, two young artists, Share a small flat. Share a small flat. Sue and John C. Sue and John C. Sue and John C. Can you say it in that way now? Sue and John C. Good, Roshan. I liked it. Eva. And John C. Roshan. Sorry, Rohan. Sue and John C. No breaks between and and John C. Say it continuously. Sue and John C. And John C. A, N, John C. And John C. That's like, yeah. Sue and John C. Good. Better. Okay. Who's there next? Who's next? Isha. Sue and John C. Good. Angelo. Sue and John C. Perfect. Nabil? This one. Yeah. Two and John C. Good. Okay. Let's now moving on to the next part of that. Two young artists. Two young artists. Here it is not two. I'm saying like two young artists. This is how you have to pronounce it. Two young artists. Okay. So, to make it a little more different, I would ask you to write an arrow mark here, which means that this particular portion should be set with higher voice, with a little more, you know, high voice, high pitch word. Two young artists. Young artist must be set one, must be contracted. There is no space between young and artist. Two young artists. Can you say it in this way now? 
You run young artist. Once again? You run You young artist. Good, good, good. <laughs> Artist. No, there is no gap between young and artist. You have to say it quickly without break. Young artist. Young artist. Young artist. Say it like that. Young artist. Young artist. Ha. Ah. Now say it again. You young artist. Perfect. Say it like that always. Okay. Isha. Two young artist. Perfect. Nabil. Two young artist. Angela. Two young artist. Okay, so now we are going to combine these two parts from the beginning. Sue and Johnsy, two young artists. Okay, Sue and Johnsy. Sue and Johnsy, two young artists. Clear? Moving to this next part. Share a small flat. Share a small flat. So here there is no break anywhere in this particular section because it is continuously said. Share a small flat. Share a small flat. Simple, share a small flat, crisp. He's going to try first. Angelo. Share a small flat. Share a young, share a small flat. <laughs> It's okay. I'll come back to you. Don't worry. Isha. Shared a small flat. Shared a small flat. Okay. Roshan. Shared a small flat. Shared. Shared a small flat. No gaps, ma'am. Without gap. Say it without gap. Shared a small flat. Mm. Okay. Nabil. Shared a small flat. Make it sit more faster. Shared a small flat. Faster. In two seconds he finishes. Shared a small flat. Shared a small flat. flat. More faster. Shared a small flat. Shared a, shared a, shared a small flat. There is no A. That's it. Shared a small flat. Perfect. That's how it is. I hope you understand Rohan. Okay, is there anybody? Ah, yeah, you was waiting. She had a belly recently. Yeah, now you can say. <laughs> Let us not flat. Perfect. So could you now read this from the beginning in this way? Sue and Johnsy, two young artists, share a small flat. He's gonna try first. Let me see who's more courageous here. I think Angela has some kind of uh, initiation. Who said that? Once again, Eva? You and John C. Two young artists shared a flat. Share a oh. flat. Don't, don't swallow. Okay. No issues, but that was good. That was perfect. Okay. This is how we begin. This is how we are beginning. This will we will now convert this to conversations as well. This is how we can talk as well. Okay, yeah, I, I, I shared a small flat. Like that I can talk, right? Yeah. So he's here to say again, Angelo, try this from the beginning. C and C, two young artists, share a small flat. Perfect, I like that this smooth way of saying it. Okay, Roshan. C and John C, two young artists, share a small flat. Shared. Why do you look at this A? Shared a small flat. A. No. Okay. Shared a. Shared a. It is like this. The schwa is coming there. Schwa. Uh. Like this. Shared a. Got it? Hmm? Isha. Sue and John C. Two young artists. Shared a small flat. Perfect. I like that schwa. Okay. Um, who could say next? Uh, 
Is there anybody else? I think I found some more faces. Rohan, try. Shu and John C. Mm -hmm. Two young artists mm -hmm. share small flat. Mm. I need to teach you music therapy. Okay, that I will teach you later. Don't worry. I need more time. La 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 like that goes. Okay, we'll teach you later. Don't worry. So next sentence. The flat. The flat. Which means what? Where? On the third story of what? Of a house. Of an old house. What kind of house? Of an old house. What kind of house? Old house. Oh. So here you need to see how we are just changing the tones and sounds, okay? It is like, you know, the flat. What? That's a noun. Nouns can be uh, modulated. Adjectives can be modulated like house. What kind of house? Old. Old house. So here when I say my voice is up when I say old house which means that i'm giving some emphasis to the explanation or the description of that particular main noun okay so likewise you have to find out the important words in the textbook and adjust it underline it identify it underline it plan it speak it practice it that's it <laughs> everything is it have you seen it Second part, yesterday it was playing. Huh? No, right? <laughs> okay. So uh, just, just, just try this. Try this. I'll give you three more minutes because this is the last class, right? Done. So who dares to say first? This is a daring phase here. He was thinking how to escape from this room, isn't it? Yeah, she was looking here and there like, you know, where is a hall to jump out? I think Isha can give a try. Please try. See flat is on the third story of an old house. Okay. Flat is on the third story. Third. Where? Okay. Third story. Can be together. Third story. Third story or third story. Just can switch the sound changes. Modulation could be switched from one place to another. Third story or third story would be better. Anything is okay. The flat is on the third story of an old house. Okay, so we are giving a rhythm, a, a music. I hope it's understood. Yes, ma'am. Try. The flat is on the third story of an old house. Okay, Roshan, I appreciate you for this, but I was calling you a George. It's okay, but you said it well. Thank you. Yeah, Eva, Eva George. The flat is on the third story of an old house. Of an old house. Of an old that is why. Change it. I'll come back to you, Angelo. The flat is on the third story of an old house. Perfect. Eva, it's your turn now. Quick. The flat is on the third story of an old house. Hmm. I will tell you why this is not up to the mark because you're not giving the poses at that particular places. The flat, the flat break is on the, is on the third. It is continuously speaking, 
but at here you can improve increase the sound the flat is on the third story the flat is on the third story of an old house or of an old house however got it yes ma'am what's happening isha somebody is commenting me there i think <laughs> isn't it no oh, ma'am no ma'am okay no issues Angelo, Angelo has done. Rohan will be in trouble if I ask him to read. That's it. Okay. So kindly practice in the same way after the exams because maybe for the coming two weeks there will be no exam. I mean, no accent reduction classes because of the exams. So take only five minutes every day. Take it as a you know recreation time and practice. two sentences daily from your textbook from this particular unit chapter in the same way okay will you be doing that hmm okay ma'am okay fine so i'm going to finish it off now we'll meet you next week all right okay, not week i mean the next class whenever it is happening all right bye bye thank you ma'am thank you ma'am